great. It's no longer a hypothesis. Russia struck first. And Ukraine's population fears the worst. The secretary general of Caritas Internacionalis, Aloysius John, warns that tensions in the local population are sky high. The situation of the people today, according to Caritas Ukraine, is people are, are traumatized by, uh, by the fear of the war, which may happen at any time. And, uh, and for them, uh, the children, they don't know what to do with their children, how to take care of them and where to go are all the questions that are in their minds. In the conflict zone, there are about 2.9 million people who are living on both sides of the contact line and are in need of humanitarian assistance. He also notes that since the conflict began in 2014, more than 14,000 people have lost their lives and some 1.5 million been forced to leave their homes. First, the COVID-19 pandemic and now armed attacks are fueling anguish among Ukrainians. Another problem today uh, where Caritas uh, Ukraine is concerned is the security situation in some areas, uh, which is also preventing them from, from bringing the needed life-saving help. And this, uh, this is due to the resumption of constant shelling in some areas and the trips to the buffer zones have also been suspended today and that is a major concern for Caritas Ukraine and for Caritas Internationalis. Caritas Ukraine warned in a press release that the country is looking at a humanitarian catastrophe. The organization is asking the international community to guarantee the entire population access to aid.